Okay, everybody, so today's gonna be arm day. So please, oh, my head's cut off. Um, please make sure that you grab some dumbbells uh, and a mat. Make sure you have a lot of space here. Okay, so um, yesterday during the live, we focused a lot on legs and core. So now we're just gonna strictly focus on the arm, a little bit of core. I always wanna work core in um, at some point in every single workout, only because that's where most people laugh. The stronger your core is, the better your workouts are going to be, the better you're going to live your life. Okay, so hopefully you guys did the warm up video. I did do the warm up video, and I remember I talked about this. You guys, I am stalking to see if people warm me up. If you have your own warm up, that's really fine. Just make sure at least 10 minutes long. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is I'm going to go through every single exercise, all right? So Again, it's all about the arms, and we're all going to do every single arm exercise that we have in this particular set in a single leg blue bridge position, which I'll demonstrate in a second. So again, that's working your balance and your core at the same time, accentuating your arms by taking your legs out of the equation, okay? So no standing positions. We're going to superset, which means we're going to exhaust the muscle, so your arm muscles, with um, two exercises, which I'll demonstrate in a second, okay? So go ahead and grab your dumbbells. And watch me if you are um, a hands-on learner and you do it with me, that's fine, but we're not starting the workout yet. I'm just gonna um, show you what this looks like. Okay, so we're gonna do all the exercises on just our right leg first, and then go back and do our left leg. So I'm gonna plant my right leg down by my glutes, and I'm gonna lift my left leg up. My knees are even, okay? So my leg isn't down here, it's not way up here, it's even season. Flexing this left leg up, I'm gonna push my hips up, get my dumbbells, and I'm gonna start off with a chest fly. So slight bend in the elbow like you're hugging a beach ball. You're gonna inhale, open, keep your eyes on the sky, exhale, close. Okay, you wanna stop when your wrists are even with your shoulders, no higher, no lower. You're all the while trying to keep your hips up as high as you can by stand by squeezing your glutes the whole time. Okay, so reps here is gonna be 10. We're going to stay on our right leg, and we're going to go into the next exercise, which is a chest press. Okay, so now palms face away from your body. They're going to be even on top of your shoulders. Again, the right leg is down, the left leg is extended. These are even. Squeeze your glutes, draw your belly button up towards your face. Okay, we're going to inhale down. That will stop at your shoulder height. They don't go down to the ground. That's really bad for your shoulders. Okay, so get your hips up. We exhale here, stop at our shoulder height, exhale up. Okay, again. 10 reps just on your right leg, okay? Then the next exercise that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into um, a pullover, okay? So staying on that right leg, you're gonna tuck your tummy in, you're gonna inhale, hold just one dumbbell behind, reach behind you, exhale, close. Okay, keeping that left foot flex. Inhale here, exhale, close, try and keep your arms as straight as possible. Again, that's rest of 10. Then we'll go take a break and we'll do all those exercises on your left leg. We're doing an isometric hold, so you might feel a little shaky in the leg after. Okay? Immediately after, superset means you don't have a break. So after that left side, we're going to superset it with um, a push up followed by a bear crawl. Okay? So, yes, I love the bear crawls because that makes everybody work harder. Again, if you need to go, if you have the capability, to go up and high plank, please do it. Just make sure your butt's not quite steep or sagging way down the valley. Even. I'm gonna do it on my knees, so um, I'm not quite recovered yet. You tuck in your tummy, your shoulders are down the back. Elbows are tight towards your ribcage, you're gonna exhale, press. And okay, we got 10 here, so it's inhale down, exhale, press. Okay, then the next exercise, like I said, is gonna be a bear crawl. And we're just going to hold this position for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna crawl for 30 seconds, okay? So that's a superset. Then we take a break, and then we go back and do it two more times, okay? Your arms will be a little bit tired after this, okay? So let's go ahead and get in position. We're gonna start again, like I said, on our right leg first. So grab your weights. If at any time the weights become too heavy, drop in, just use your body weight. So right heel down. Your left knee is in line with your right knee. You're gonna push your hips up. Starting with the fly, head is down, chin is off your chest, roll that pelvic floor back as you to your head, okay? Elbows are slightly bent, inhale open, exhale close, okay? Drive that heel hard into the ground so that your hips are as high as possible, extending that left leg and flex. This is 
three. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. As you open, wrists are in alignment with your shoulders. Six. Squeeze your glutes at all times. Okay, slight bit of that arm is going to protect your shoulder. Last one. Okay, take a little bit of a break. We're going to stay on that right leg, okay? Now we're going to go into a chest press. Palms are facing away from your body. You're going to roll your pelvic floor down by squeezing your glutes and rolling your back to the floor. Hold that isometric roll back as your glutes are in the air. You're going to inhale down, exhale up. Remember, elbow stop at shoulder height. Exhale here, feet are flexed. Exhale, squeeze, inhale down. Exhale, squeeze, tighten those glutes, tighten the back, tighten the hamstring, and down. Halfway. Slow it down on the way down. No one should be going fast here. And last one. Beautiful. Okay, drop one weight. We're going to again hold that right leg only. We'll go back into the left in a second. Palms have the dumbbell here. Okay, palms are facing you towards each other, head is still down. We're going to go up into a weak bridge, hold that pelvic tilt, inhale, reach that weight behind you, exhale, close the face. If your dumbbell stops right when it hovers over your face, okay? Inhale here, exhale, squeeze your core. Hold that isometric leg up. Don't let that left leg sag. The seven. Let's go one more. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful job. All right, so if you need a break, shake it out. Take a drink of water if you need to. Okay, we're gonna move in 10 seconds. So to trade yourself on the floor, we're gonna do those same three exercises, same arms, but just different leg, okay? So roll that pelvis back. Weight is heavy in your heel, big toes off the ground. Right leg is up and extended. Push up. We go 10 chest flies. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, open, squeeze your glutes, exhale, close. If at any time this is too much, you can put both legs down like this and do a full group bridge, okay? So you listen to your body, listen to your back, okay? This is nine and 10. Okay, take a mini rest. Palms are going to be facing away from your body. Head stays on the ground. We exhale, press, spread that right leg up. Switch those glutes back. Inhale down, exhale up. Wrist stop right on top of your shoulders, squeezing your glutes the whole time. Remember, don't punch at an angle. If you're punching directly over. Just keep those knees even. Flex your feet. Don't let your elbows touch the ground. They stop shoulder height and down. Okay, drop one of the weights. Get one back into that single leg glute bridge on your left side. Right? Up and down. Squeeze. You're going to keep your arms straight. Inhale back. Exhale, close. Knees stay even. Feet are flexed. Inhale here. Exhale, close. Remember, at any time, you can go into a double hip bridge. Squeeze your glutes and push out from the heel. We got three more. Last one. And whew, take it down. All right, so roll out of that on the side. Don't just yank right up. Okay, so remember we're super setting this, okay? With push ups and a bear crawl. So go ahead and get into push up position. It's just 10. So, knee your shoulders apart, chins off your chest. You roll that pelvis down and back. Ready? Let's go. Inhale down, exhale, push. Elbows tight towards the ribs. Halfway. Inhale up, exhale, tighten your glutes. 
Last one. Okay. Super set, no break. Go right into the bear crawl holds in three, two, one. Up. Keep your butt down. Knees hovering. Squeeze your glutes. Push your shoulders away from your ears. We walk in three, two, one. Here we go. Right foot, left foot, left foot, right foot, right foot, left foot, left foot, right foot, backwards. Tiny other steps, the better. Stay focused. Keep your back flat. Forwards. Four steps forwards, four steps backwards. One more backwards. And good. All right, so take a rest. Take a drink of water if you need to. Okay, so we're going to start from the top. So it's going to be left leg to start, okay, because we started on our right leg last time. We're going to change the way your neural patterns work on what starts. Okay, so on the ground, grab your dumbbells. Left leg starts. Remember, slight bend in your elbows. It's like a beach ball. Okay, here we go. On your back. Knees are even. Pelvis is tilted back. Slight bend. We move in three, two, one. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Squeeze your butt. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Driving energy up and out of that left heel. Okay, you should be pressing down. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze everything. Push. Inhale down. Squeeze your butt. 
Elbows never hit the floor, only even with your shoulders. Inhale, down, exhale, squeeze your butt. Last one. Beautiful. Okay, little rest here. We're going to go holding that single leg glute bridge, pullovers. Okay? Remember, it doesn't go past your shoulders, so not here. Okay? Right here on your stop is your stopping and starting point. Right leg is up, hips are up, legs are even. Inhale back, exhale, drag it forward. Flexing your feet, keeping your eyes focused on the ceiling. Stopping that shoulder height. Inhaling, reaching back with straight arms. If your arms are bending, it means you need to do some shoulder flexibility and lower your weights too heavy. Seven. Hold it. Hold that heel down. Last one. And beautiful job. Okay. So now, super set. Right into push ups. Followed by bear crawls. Okay? Here we go. Fingers are facing forward, chin is off of your chest, chest hits the ground. Squeeze your glutes. Okay? Here we go in three, two, one. Inhale down, exhale, push. Inhale down, exhale, push. One more. Good job. Okay, your shoulders are going to be feeling it now, okay? So we're ready to bear call in three, or bear holds in three, two, one. Knees one inch off the ground, but back, heavy in your heels, so it shouldn't be forward. Drive them back, okay? Squeeze your glutes, shoulders are down and retracted. We walk forward for four sets in three, two, one, one, two, smaller steps, three, four, chin off of your chest, back, one, two, three, four, forward, here we go, one, butt down, two, three, extend your neck, four, five, six, backwards, seven, eight, forwards, one more time, one, two, three, Four, backwards. One, two, three, and four. Take a break. Okay, shake it out. Have some water. Good job, dude. You're doing it too. All right. One more round. Then we have a little add-on, okay? So it's good to take breaks in between supersets like that because that allows your muscles to swell. And when you take breaks, it allows your brain to make that connection. When you just zoom through things, you're not able to really do the movements correctly because you're overly tired. So in movements like, in circuits like this, you want to take that break in between and let your muscles do some growth and some toning. Okay. So here we go. Right side first. We're going to do a chest slide. Okay? Try to go right into each exercise. If you need to take the break, remember set both feet down or drop the weights. Here we go. In three, two, one. Left leg up. Squeeze. Inhale open. Exhale close. Inhale open. Exhale close. Continue your feet, driving up energy from your right heel. Last one. Good. Chest press. Palms face away from your body. Hips up and down. Exhale, drive. Inhale down. Exhale, push. Halfway. Good. 
Don't let your hips sag. Last one. Keep going, okay? Little break by putting one foot down. We're going right into it in three, two, one. Overhead, pull, exhale, drop. If you need to drop the weight on this one, it's okay. Inhale here, exhale, squeeze. Halfway, flexing your feet, big toe off the ground. Two more. And relax. Whew. Okay. So we're going to go into our left leg this time, okay? And we're going to superset it, and we have one last finisher. So left leg down. Grab your weights. Scooch. Well, I, you don't have to scooch down. I do. I keep hitting uh, my baby's little carriage thing. Okay, so left foot down, right foot even, palms up, facing toward each other, hips up, slight bend, inhale open, exhale close, squeeze, inhale open, exhale close, flexing your feet. Six. Making sure your wrists are even with your shoulders. Last one, get your hips up. And palms face away, elbows to your shoulders. Exhale, push, inhale down. Make sure your knees are even, sometimes mind wanders too. Just check yourself. Halfway, inhale down, exhale, push. Two more. Okay, ease yourself back down. We're gonna go right into the pull over to burn out that left leg. One dumbbell. Energy pushes out of that heel. Firmly grip this dumbbell over your face, starting and finishing. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Flexing those feet, knees are even. Exhale, inhale back. Two more. Last one. And we're going right into the superset. So remember, lock, roll out of it. We're going to do push ups followed by the bear crawl. Hi, buddy. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go. Inhale down. Exhale, push. Squeeze your butt the whole time. Six. Two more. Chin up. Last one. Bear curl hold in three, two, one. Butt down, hold it. Shoulders down and back, push away from the ground. This should be getting a little bit easier since we include this every week. Shut up. Straight time. We walk the worker four in three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Small steps back. One, two, three, four. And forward. Two, three, four. Backwards, butt down. Two, three, four. Forward, shut up. One, two, three, four. And back. One. Two, three, four, last one. One, two, three, four, and back. One, two, three, and four. All right. And we're going to take a little bit of a longer break here. I love the neuromuscular system do its thing. And so that you'll have good form coming off of the last three exercises. We're going to do the last three exercises twice. Okay? So, I'm not going to tell you what they are yet. Duke knows what they are. Okay, so you take a break while you watch me demo, okay? Getting our heart rate up. We're going to go squat jack, renegade row, squat jack for round number one. Then we're going to go renegade row, squat jack, renegade row. 
All reps at 10, okay? We're not detouring from that today. Squat jack, looks like this, okay? Touch the ground together, touch the ground together. If you're wanna go in, you're gonna wanna go fast, okay? If that is not an option for you, a different move you could do is squat, touchdown, squat, touchdown, okay? Then renovate row. Remember, if you can, I want you to angle your weights in 45 degrees, and I want you in this position if you can. Legs wider than the children apart, squeeze your boots, okay? I'm not able to do that right now, so I will be on my knees, and when, whatever position you're in, you're gonna hold for one, down for three. Hold for one, inhale up, down for three. Okay, that's 10. Then right in squat jacks. Mini break, then backwards, and then we'll be done. Okay, if you want an extra challenge on squat jack, you're more than welcome to squat jack with a three to five pound dumbbell. No more than that, okay, squat your knees. Okay, here we go. Squat jack for 10 and three, two, one, one. Keep a look at me, okay? Don't look down at the ground. Nice and quick. Halfway. Get your hand all the way down to the ground, back flat. And last one, grab your weights. We're going right into it. Renegade row. High plank or on your knees in three, two, one. Inhale up, down for three. Chin off your chest, squeeze your glutes. Four. Down for three. Halfway. Down for three. If this is too easy, you need to be going into high plank or grab heavier weights, okay? Keep your hips still, not rocking. Okay, so we're generating movement from our core, not our hips. If you're rocking pretty bad, you need to come down on your knees. Last one. Down. We stand up for our squat jack in three, two, one. One. Two. Speed it up. Last one right here. Okay. Woo. Okay. So that's finisher number one. Hi, buddy. Finisher number two. Backwards. Renegade row, squat jack, renegade row. If you don't want to go up in the weight for renegade row, but you're still looking for a challenge, especially if you're already in high plank, do a push up before you pull for the next renegade row. So, for example, the extra challenge of the renegade row would look like this. Okay? Push up, renegade row, renegade row. Okay? That's only if you want a challenge. I'm going to do that challenge for five, and then I'm going to finish the rest of the last five. Okay? You can do whatever you want. In three, two, one. Push up for challenge. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Keep going. Remember, initiating the movement from your core. Nothing should be rocking. The last one of the challenge for me, and then it'll be regular. Okay. Six, seven, last one. And squat jacks in three, two, one, one. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, coming down to the ground. Almost done, buddy. Okay, ready? Challenge if you need it. Three, two, one. I'm going to do the regular ones. You can have a challenge by adding a push up. Okay? Make sure you're slow and controlled. Keeping your chin long, okay? Butt is tucked. And that was 10 for me. Okay? You're still going. Duke, Duke James, you're being rude. You can wait for one second. Um, anyway, um, go ahead and finish what you're doing. Please make sure you do the cool down video. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday.